What's up guys, it's Play Logical Sims here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another speed build on this channel. Today I'm going to just be showing you that it is possible to turn an EA build into a cozier build using the restrictions that they have provided. Now this build will be taken this speed build will be taking place in Willow Creek on the sp the streamlet single residential lot. My job here is just to create a build that is under budget, under the 20,000 simoleons. That's just my goal in this challenge. This lot, this residential lot will also be used for my, will actually be used for my 100 baby challenge let's play, which I've done the creator sim of my matriarch already. It is already uploaded on the channel. You can find the link in the i cards as well as in the description. Now, as we all know, the Willow Creek homes, as as is majority of the EA builds, as are majority of the e, the EA builds, I should say, they tend to be extremely dark. The way I see it, it looks very depressing. It looks like no one actually lives there. It's not somewhere that I would want my Sims to live, per se. So what I always do is I always make I make changes to out a hider bulldoze the entire lot. And build something new which you will see a lot of on this channel or I will try to do a little renovation in this case I tried my hardest I really really went into this thinking that I'm going to keep the floor plan I'm going to keep the shape of the home I'm just gonna swip watch out switch out the furniture but then I took a look at it, at it. I don't normally play in the Willow Creek home. I will play in Willow Creek, but not in the homes. I usually just bulldoze them right away. So I did not remember how badly this looked. So as soon as the game loaded up and I saw where my sim would potentially be living with her 100 children, I just decided that, you know what, I'm just going to get rid of everything. All I left was... I left the, the physical shape of the home for a, a good amount of time then I started to make adjustments as I went along. I'm a big fan of vibrant decor and as and this just wasn't cutting it for me. I just, so I decided that before I even comment the actual challenge I had to make a change to this to this residential lot. I had to make it look like somewhere that somewhere that someone would actually want to live. Make it more pleasing to the high instead of this dark appearance that it is that it currently has at the moment. I do know that this could easily be a two bedroom home. However, I did not want it to be a two bedroom home because of how, how I will be playing the challenge. It would just simply be her and their children. And I didn't necessarily want them to have. In the beginning, she's just going to have the bassinet. She's just going to have the babies. She's not going to have any toddlers at yet. So I wanted it to just have that small cozy feel when you walk in. It just seems like you just have that homey vibe, like everybody is just together. It's like a close knit family. That's the vibe I was going for. And I was on a mission to prove that we do not need to use money cheats in a harder to build a home that satisfies all the needs of the same while having a pleasant appearance. By simply doing things like changing the floor plan and adding more, adding brighter lights, guys. I cannot stress this enough. Bright lights in a home, they're very, very important. These lights that he has in this build, which are even more expensive than the lights that I used, they make absolutely no sense. And then the windows, they were, there were cheaper windows, as you will see in this build cheaper windows that made a big difference as well as the flooring like what the hell what were they thinking with this flooring that they had i i had so many thoughts going into this and as you can see throughout the build if you should slow down this build or, and replay it you'll realize that i used a lot of more expensive items in this build just in case you don't know, when you're playing The Sims, the lower you go, 
on the list of items the more expensive the items are that does not necessarily mean that the better the quality but I had a few items that I really liked using and I used them in the build while you're play while you're renovating a lot you don't necessarily have to use these items to have a beautiful build I could use the same furniture they had but changed the swatches the same floor and the same everything just, just change the swatches and it would look ten it would look a million times better I can tell you that don't believe me I'll upload a video showing you exactly that with another Willow Creek home so you can look out for that video as well in this video I used a lot of shortcut keys which I'm also going to upload a video about that showing you just all the some shortcuts keys that will make your building life a, lit, a lot simpler a lot easier a lot quicker some tricks and some tips I'll be uploading a video about that as well very soon as well as I have a video coming out with my schedule with my schedule like how am I going to be my videos when am I going to play, post the down the down in the dumps let's play when am I going to post the 100 baby challenge let's play and so on and in case you're new here I do not use any mods I'm just taking a break from CC's at the moment I think I think of it as a challenge each time I play the sims each time I do a creator sim each time I do a build I'm using no CC's and I'm actually finding that there are items in the game that they are actually they are actually really good items in the game guys that I did not explore if you should if you are watching the videos you'll notice that when I click on a tab there are items in gold that does not mean that the game was just installed it simply means that I did not use a lot of items so the game just keeps showing me that hey there are new items here yeah enough of me rambling let's get back to me talking about this build so like I said before there are a lot of cheaper alternatives that you could use in this build to make it even better or to make it more of your style. There are a lot of ways you can go with a renovation like this. I'm going to actually upload our actual renovation. I have a lot of videos planned out and I'm currently filming videos in bulk. Except for the challenges because I really look forward to those feedbacks on the challenges that I'm doing. And when I say challenges, I'm talking about the let's plays. I really look forward to like feedback on the, the down in the dumps let's play, which is a let's play where I combined the homeless challenge, rags to riches, and the runaway teen, and did a couple spin-offs on it. I I have the rules to the challenge uh, in the description of each episode of the challenge. By the time you're watching this, I think that episode three would have already been out as well as chances are that the first part of the 100 baby challenge would be out while you're watching this link to all of those will be in the description in case those videos have already came out because I'm not sure of the order of which I'm posting this I'm not sure if I'm posting the 100 baby challenge then post this but chances are that this video would be but the chances are that while you're watching this video part one of the 100 baby challenge may already be out the link would be in the i cards or in the description or even both or even in my comment section actually speaking of the comment section if you're at this point of the video chances are you are you have some thoughts on the video you're engaged in the video just comment down below what you think about this renovation what did you expect coming into this video did I deliver what you expected coming into this video in the end this house is valued at 19,014 simoleons like I said there there's room where there's room to actually bring down that figure. It could be a lot cheaper. I mean, I could have swapped out the laptop, the 1000 simoleons laptop, for the 800 simoleons one. I could have changed out the TV. 
the TV could have been completely omitted. The bed could be cheaper. Instead of getting that one bed, I could get two beds. The bathtub, things like that. There's a lot of things that I could have changed out to make this bed a lot cheaper and still have a modern feel to it. But And this goes to show that there's a lot we can do in The Sims. We're not limited as we think. Because I could have done this build so many different ways. I could have turned this even into a three bedroom house if I wanted to. Using the restrictions that I was given. And like I said, there's a lot coming in this channel. There's a lot to expect. There's a lot of videos. I've entered to many of them. Some of them I even came right out and said it. There's a lot coming to this channel. So this is the point in the video that I'm going to encourage you to hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. So it, that's the end of me talking. Just enjoy the rest of the build. Remember to subscribe. Turn on the post notification. Have a wonderful day or night. And I'll see you soon. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways To my shadows Turns the sun rays And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands Through the highways And on and on We'll go
to 